Oh, oh, you're on, Jake. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn. Whoa, did you see that? Dude, the sea lion's trying to take your fish. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, sea lion's trying to take your fish, Are you dude. Serious? Yeah. No, I thought that was a fish. Was it wasn't a fish? Yeah, that was That was a, massive, it's, it's dude. It's a decent fish. Really? Yeah. That, would, then that, that would be a massive I won't fish. I my line out, but yeah. Yeah, that. Where was this fish going, though? This is about a 10 pounds at least. <laughs> I thought it was a sea lion. Surface <laughs> <laughs> rod. Oh, fish on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not going anymore. Oh, I what is that? You got, you got a pink. Oh, it's a pink. All right, this. There we go. All right, pink salmon. Nice release. That was all colored up. We don't want those. No way. Nice one. Oh, yeah, that's a fatty. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, shoot. Big one. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's so big! Daddy! Where's that was. The, where's the bunker? Yeah, in here. Yeah, that's a massive oh. thing. Alright, we gotta read it, right. okay? Oh, oh my right. gosh. Quickly. Quickly. Nice. Like I said, Well, that's a good way to start the video. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we're in Juneau, Alaska. Dawson and I have been hanging out here for a few days now, and we're here for just over a couple weeks. Uh, flew up here, and we're having an adventure already. So we should be doing some epic stuff on this trip once again. Uh, but today, we're doing some salmon fishing for coho. So hopefully we get some more bites. It's a good start. All right, today we're with Matt. Howdy. And Jake. Hello. That was a nice fish to start with. Mm -hmm. Good job, yeah, man. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> now, let's get more fish. We promised the girls some fish. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, I had a hit right, yeah. right, oh, you right did? on the surface. Yeah. <laughs> oh, serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I yep. think you got a fish. Oh, oh nice. You got a hoe, it looks like. Oh, oh, oh. oh Dude, not even on the downrigger, literally on the surface. Oh, oh yeah, coho, baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. <laughs> oh, it's a good one, too. Damn. Dang. Damn. Damn. That was crazy, nice. dude. Nice fish. Heck yeah, dude. What a beauty. Just grabbed it from like 20 feet behind the boat. Yeah. On the surface. On the surface. Nice. So sick. All right. Amazing. Are you putting it on a, on a rope or oh, what yeah. are you doing yeah. now? What happened? I just looked back and there was a humpback all the way out of the water. No. And I just saw it boom and splash. Just a no big full breach right between here and that little island. Oh, but way, way, oh, down, way down there. I'm surprised your dad doesn't have like. Oh, you're on. You're on, dude. 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 I need to tighten the Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Woo. Woo -hoo. Let's go. Ho. Nice. Oh, kind of colored up, huh? Yeah, like definitely darker. You can see it's real, it's real oh, green. Yeah. yeah. It'll be amazing. Still cut really nice. 
ate both hooks. Nice little one, but it was good. Yeah. Lucky you didn't have to drag it back across. Oh, yeah. Yacht. Oh, nothing. Let's see. No, I don't see any teeth marks. Oh. Must have just bumped it. Yeah. Check it out. I don't know. Just oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got one. oh my gosh, really? What the heck? This guy's just swimming with it. Oh my god. Oh dude, it's a nice one too. Ready? Oh no! Alright, I was like, oh I got it. How deep were you talking Uh 26. Dang, that was crazy, dude. Popped off, it happens. Fish on. Yeah. Yeah. Good action. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, Jake, 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 you're on. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Went straight to yours. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh no! Oh, shit. Three all for three all now. Trying to help you. Dang. We're kind of getting schooled again today, Tucker. <laughs> Just lost three in a row. Oh, oh no. It's okay. We don't want that one anyway. That had big. That one had a huge gash on it. Yeah, yeah. It was not sashimi quality. Oh, <laughs> oh there it is. Yeah, yeah. There, we go. there you go. Wait. No way. It's still on there. Yeah. Coming right in. Oh yeah, lift. Oh yeah, he's there. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Pretty sweet. So many bites. So many bites, man. That's amazing. That was the fastest coho fight I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, that like, thing just swam in. Oh, here's a bite. Here's a bite. Oh, dude, it's a big one. Dude, it's a, it feels good. Oh, no, did it come off? Oh, it shook me off, dude. Damn. That one destroyed it, but... Dude, they felt, that one felt so good. Oh, yeah, you get, you're getting a bite. Oh, my gosh. So many bites right now. That's insane. <laughs> insane. There it is. Oh my gosh, we gotta get back. Yeah, Jake's on. Oh, oh, we're on. Yeah. Feels pretty good too. Yeah, it's running. He's running. Not a happy one. Real angry one. It's coming in, it's coming in. Oh, oh yeah. shoot. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Dang, that's massive. That is huge. Oh, that is huge. <laughs> oh, oh what the gosh. heck, dude? Dude, oh. what? I've never seen a coho that big. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that was uh, 32. 32. Nice. Massive. All right. You got it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't coming off. <laughs> it's Good. through top and bottom jaw. Just, really it's good. in there, dude. Oh my gosh. You have your phone? Yeah, I should take it out of that pocket in my right one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that rod went off. Take, take. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, dude. Is it on? I don't think so. <laughs> 
Oh, oh Jake, you're on. Dude, oh, no. Yeah. Dude, yeah. No. Where's that? You can put my phone down. Yeah, just throw it down. <laughs> Crazy. Chaos. Okay, let me get my fish out of the net. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy. Okay, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. wow. That's a real decent fish. Dude. Yeah. You want it on this side or the kicker side? Can we put oh, it on the kicker side? Oh! Oh, wow. Look at that run. <laughs> yeah, another fatty. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a good one, too. Man, the bite has been so good. Check it out. Our haul so far. Got six fish. Look at my massive one. Dude, it's so big. Absolute tank. All right, let's drop back down. Oh, Doug. Yeah. It's happening again. Still happening. 32. Yep, yeah, big up. Big up. Freaking bit for sure. Didn't stick. Right, oh, oh, Doggy, Doggy! Oh, shit, I got the fish. Oh, fish. I'm just bringing mine up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I see yours. Yep. Oh, good one, too. Oh yeah, oh my god, dude, this guy just, this guy is strong, oh yeah, jeez, good fish, yeah, yeah, another good one, man, heck yeah, Oh yeah! Oh yeah, boy! Yeah, alright. Got the net. Got the net. Oh! Oh, jumper! Oh, 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 it's coming, it's coming at you. It's coming at me. Come. Oh, it's a hot one. Hot one. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There it is. Nice. Nice. That nice. monofilament, man. <laughs> Ooh. Got a flexi one. Would it be crazy to net them at the same time? Oh, oh, I'm on it. I'm on it. Nice. Yes. Not too safe. Come here, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't record the best part. I just netted two salmon at the same time. Oh, they got and one two there nets. Too. Or one net. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Woo! Bite is still hot. It's hot. It's spicy. Bite is hot, man. It's just staying hot. It's insane. Hey guys, quick interruption from this insane action to bring you a quick word from today's sponsor, which is myself. <laughs> Me and Ricky from Perfection just dropped our second knife collab and these knives are beautiful this time we're working with a brand called nobu to help bring these knives to you it is a 220 millimeter chef knife that is a mix of western and japanese styles it's made with vg10 stainless steel and a damascus cladding for a beautiful finish the most unique part about these knives has to be the handles the blue and purple handles are nothing like you've seen before they are truly mesmerizing the yellow and brown handles are classy and have more of a traditional look that bring out your inner sushi chef. Last but not least, the midnight black handle made with ebony 
that just says mess around and find out. And on this run and this run only, we're selling them for $95, which is a steal for a knife of this quality. These knives are limited, so click the link in the description before they sell out. Now let's get back to the action. Oh, fish. Yeah, there we go. Damn. Yep. Oh, is he there? Oh yeah, he's there. Oh, just just jumped off, dude. Oh, oh he's oh he's right there. Oh, he's right there. He oh, took he it. it. Oh. oh, he's coming back. Wait. Oh, he got it. He got. Oh no. Oh. Oh, he took the bait. Yeah. That was crazy. Saw him eat it, so I just tried to set it, set yeah. the hook on him, but should have just maybe waited and just wait till it was, I felt it. Was like, it was like half, half a second later on your uh, set, and you probably would have had it. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good time. Hey, you're a little hoe. Little hoe. Little. Oh, there. Why did you do that? Unbelievable. Oh, Jake, Jake. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you nice. Jake, Jake, you take the net. Here, tackle. Okay. It's on. <laughs> Fish shot all over the place. Did he me talk you? Yep. I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Little guy. Nice. Work. Hit? Yeah. Good. Good hit. Oh, damn. Yeah, they got a big one. Oh, big one. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Huge. Yeah, fish here. Fish. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll... Ready? There it is. Woo. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a beauty! Yeah! Four more! That's another beauty. Nice work! Heck yeah! Yeah! <laughs> nice! Well guys, that was one of the best days of trolling I've ever had. That was epic, dude. Same here. <laughs> unbelievable. That uh, was unbelievable. Alright. I caught a fish, that's all that matters. <laughs> now we get to go clean all those fish. Alright. Better get to work. Alright guys, here we are. We're back at Matt and Leah's house. And we gotta process this fish. So let's get to it. First, I'm gonna just take just the head off, just the head. Leave the collar on. Leave that on, okay? Now, we'll flip her over, flip him over. Ooh, that clicking and clacking. All the way down. Boom. Now I always like to put a little hole right here, right on the tail. That gives me a place to control it, hold it, show it. Looks good. And actually, check it out. We are going to grill the collars today. And so I'm gonna take the collar off. But I'll leave a quite a bit of meat on there just so we have a little bit more to eat. Especially this one's a little bit uh, on the smaller side. We caught a ton and I um, can't wait to get to my big one. Okay, now take my knife. That's it. It's just a little bit of meat on there. Hook a hole on that side as well, and then we trim this 
right here. Now I'm taking the rib cage off. That is it. All right, only 13 more to do. <laughs> Here is the big one. <laughs> this is the biggest coho, dude. It's so huge. Okay, let's cut them up. Let's cut them open. I'm gonna do the same thing. Take the head off and everything. I think I've already explained this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it. This coho is fatty. This row carcass is <laughs> yeah. exactly. exactly. Okay, now we're gonna prep some stuff. But so look at all these this whole bag of chanterelles. Um, we actually got more uh, just a couple days ago. Check out this footage. It was amazing. Uh, chanterelle pickings is the best we've had. Yeah, you could fall in there. Yeah, you could fall right in. <laughs> you see any porcini on this side? There can be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this little salmon creek. That thing got mauled. Pink, pink salmon. Humpies right here, spawning. It's so shallow. Yeah, it caused the panic. Yeah, it caused the panic. Yeah. Are you okay? Some dead pinks. Fertilizing Pretty cool. The soil. Fertilizing the soil over here. Did their job. Did a solid for the ecosystem. Huge, wow. huge <laughs> tree. Massive. Oh, these are like some kind of rusula. Yeah. I think they call them. It's all old. I think you guys can see that already. Yeah, we'll leave, these, <laughs> leave those for now. Those are some nice chickens, but we're gonna look for some chanterelle. Leah's like, she, she's like, it'll be worth it. Yeah. Trust me. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Just a couple more hours till we get some mushrooms. <laughs> Straight shot on the log. Oh! Rotten log. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Right as I was about to say, uh, don't worry, I'm recording just in case you fall through. Yeah, well, saying this is rotten. Dang. Ah, oh, here's some. Oh, look at that. There you go. Nice. Should I put them in here? Yeah, oh, put yeah. them in there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh dang, yeah. Oh, so these are the um. Oh, look at that. They go all seem a uh, winter chanterelles. Yeah. Winter. They go winter chanterelles or mm -hmm. yellowfoots, right? Yep. 
Nice, stay here. Plenty of them. It's all right. Nice. Yeah, it took us a little ways from the creek, so. Yeah, that's good. Put in your yeah. little pouch. Oh, kangaroo pouch. Oh. <laughs> With nice. the bear spray. With the bear spray. <laughs> Safe. I don't know which way is up or down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These are little, oh, some little hedgehogs too. Oh yeah. Little guys, yeah. <laughs> Must taste good. Look at all this skunk cabbage been eaten by deer. Mm. I didn't know they liked that so much. Yeah. They definitely like the big fresh um, flower that comes out in the spring. Oh. And they'll just nibble that down. Oh, I see. But. Got some real chanterelles, some golden chanterelles, eh? Nice. Yeah, they are cute. Little cute. Little cute guys. Yeah, nice. Oh, dang. This is so bright. Mmm, look at that. Time to get to work. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shite. <laughs> Holy crap, that's insane. Yeah. We'll go over there and check that out. That's insane over there. Gotta cross the creek. Yeah. Big step. My legs are little. You got little legs. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh wow, you did it. <laughs> Look at that. Look how big your legs are. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. This is nice. Ouch, that's a freaking devil's club and I just try to grab it. This is the craziest log of mushrooms I've ever seen. You guys are gonna freak out. Oh! Look at that. What the heck? That's insane. Entirely covered. That's crazy. Unfortunately they look pretty old. Alright there's another log over here with more chicken of the woods so see if these are any better. But well, where'd it go? It's right here. Oh shoot. <laughs> I were, yeah, I thought you found another one. <laughs> oh, there's a fresh one right on the ground over here. Oh wow, that one's nice. That one looks good. Oh yeah, these are pretty old too. Huckleberries. too, oh nice. Got the bounty. Oh, Justin stashing huckleberries. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try them out. It's so sweet. Pretty good. Oh yeah, pretty. You want a knife? Sure. Good. Oh, too oh, slow. Oh, perfect specimen. Ooh, dang. Thank you for mine. No. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Being able to watch the salmon and pick mushrooms at the same time. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Something special there. Yeah, good entertainment out here. Yeah. That one looks maybe decent right here. Oh no, it looks pretty old. Mm. Yeah, that's, oh yeah. <laughs> it's hollow. Slimy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, where there's oldies. Where there's oldies, there's gonna be new ones. <laughs> like this, right here. Yeah, that's a new one. That's a fresh... Oh no, that's not a chanterelle. That's not even a hedgehog. It looks like a hedgehog. It's slimy on top. Oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, it's like a... Milk. Oh dang. Um, oh yeah, totally. Not a milk cap. Yeah. yeah. It's got that little dimple, but... Yeah. False. Not the right one. Yeah. We're looking for... If you're doing wild mushrooms, you gotta know what you're looking for. Oh, Leah's got some... Leo's got some fatties, she says. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, good cluster yeah. right there. Dude. Look That's at that. The, we're the bright ones. They're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That's the. These are freshies. Look at that. Oh, wow. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. There we go. Damn. We're in them now. Oh yeah, these are good. These are good. I'm gonna grab my knife. Oh yeah, that's a perfect one, Jocelyn. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Boo yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay, I can't resist. Oh. Uh, that is it. <laughs> that's it right there. That's the money. We're in the golden. The golden zone. Uh, I have to find big ones. They fill up the basket. Quick. Yeah. 
Sometimes they like get Lons. tangled up together. Uh huh. Oh, and, the tall, and then they fall. Look at its feathers. It looks, looks kind of like grass. Yeah. Part of the forest now. Yeah. <laughs> If you get lost here, you'll also become part of the forest. <laughs> Ooh, it's only a matter of time. Feels good to get into a nice haul of mushrooms after that skunk in Oregon. That was only like a week ago, or less maybe. Look at this. What's that? From way over here, you can see all of them. Oh my gosh, wow. It's like a little pumpkin patch over there. <laughs> That's insane. It doesn't end. That's so cool. Oh yeah, what the heck. That looks insane over there. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And with the salmon in the background. That's insane. How insane is this? These are so fresh too. Yeah, these are. Hmm. You're right, Leah. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. Yeah, this cluster right here is insane. Like one cluster. Oh, these are so good too. So clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. Pounds of them. <laughs> so insane. <laughs> but these are these pouches are really nice. Yeah. The little fanny packs. I like this one a lot. I wanted one when I saw it in the Oh, guys, we're gonna do this one. Oh, nice. All those little beads you see. Yeah, probably. They're, they're doing their thing. Oh. It's probably fertilized already. It's gonna be future salmon. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, what the heck? How did that happen? That's crazy. It's got wind. Yeah. Just from Spat the wind? Out, yeah. No, that's gnarly. Just split. That's so crazy. Their tracks. Their tracks. Now we've got to prep all these. Most of them are fairly clean. Just got to take off some of the, some of the dirty bits, yeah? Might as well just clean them all, I guess. You can't keep them in the fridge for too long. We had them since uh, a couple days and they start kind of looking a little sad pretty quickly. So we got to eat them or dehydrate them or pickle them. Now the shanties are all clean. Now I'm going to prep some vegetables. And today I think I'm going to make some potato salad with grilled coho collars and grilled chanterelles. Uh, I also have some asparagus as well. So I think that is going to be a delicious dinner. I always love using the collars right after I catch them. I don't know, just because it's just one of those off cuts that um, if you put them away, you tend to like forget about them. So right away, I just like to use them. So. Grill those up, it's gonna be tasty. Do you know what time it is? Mm. It's cucumber tax. Yeah. Cucumber tax. Thank you. <laughs> what if I just take this all in? Cucumber oh, no. <laughs> Green onion. Cilantro. And the cilantro stems, good to use as well. Don't forget about that. A 
And we got some corn. And we're putting raw corn in there. It's really good. Raw corn. Don't even need to cook it at all. I like cutting it in half first. And then popping it. Boom. Just easier to easy to work with. And you go you just go like this. Ooh. Okay, so those are the veggies for our potato salad. I have already boiled some potatoes here. I'll add that in. And I'm just going to smush it in here. Smush it together with this, with a fork. You know what? While I do that, I'm also going to drizzle over some olive oil. Good amount. The potatoes are going to soak them up. We're going to season them too. It's salt and pepper. These no seams, man, I swear. These tiny little flies, little gnats, look like, but they bite. They're annoying. <laughs> I can fork while you season. All right. Fork me. Fork, fork me, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic. Cucumber tarts. <laughs> no cucumber. No more cucumber tarts. Yeah. Oh, my eye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Seedless, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let me get a little taste. Mm, tastes good. This is my favorite kind of way to make any kind of potato salad. I don't use any mayo or none of that. It's a bunch of olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. That's it. Really simple. And but put all kinds of herbs and vegetables. Oh, I think we could, I think they have some uh, basil. Do you have basil, right? Basil? In yeah. the garden? Yeah, we have basil plants inside. Oh, inside? Yeah. All right. I'll grab some. I got some mint and basil from uh, the garden. I'll just chop these up. Just gonna add a nice freshness. That's, I love just putting a ton of herbs in there. Pretty much any kind. Like, there we go. And it becomes like the most refreshing potato salad you ever had. Look at this. Let me just try a piece. Some salt. More pepper. All right, these coals are about ready. Freaking hot coals, man. Mind you more. Right now, I'm just gonna grill up some asparagus. Right, let me season this fish here. Got a bit of olive oil and generous amount of salt here. Flip it over, do the same thing on the skin side. But even extra even more extra salt on the skin side. This is super hot, extremely hot. It might be a little bit too hot, but we'll I'm find out. Popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> we're making popcorn with this right here. This corn. Mm, that's nice. Oh, especially the belly, it's just gonna ignite. Off, so they don't roll off. Yeah. It might be a little bit too hot, so I'm just gonna hold it there. Yeah. Ooh, that, good. that was so good. 
Nice belly piece. All right, Matt, you're gonna have to help me here. Yeah. You wanna brush on some of that soy sauce? Yeah. Oh, yeah, skin all over. Yeah, right? on the skin side, all over. Oh yeah. So a little bit of soy sauce, and we're gonna go in with the kelp chili crisp too. And can you brush that as well? Yeah. I'll kind of leave it on there for you. Try our kelp chili crisp if you haven't already. It's amazing stuff. I honestly love it. I eat it every day myself, even when I'm not recording. We're put, we put it on absolutely everything. And one of the best things we had it on is chanterelles, which we're gonna do next. Ooh. Mm -hmm. These look so good. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to put some also on, on, the, yeah, on the meat side too. These ones probably could use another minute, so throw some chili crisp and soy sauce. Oh. Alright. You know what? These guys are done. Looks so good. I think these are going to be perfectly cooked with that really nice high heat. The inside is going to stay nice and tender. You know, pretty much finished cooking right here on the tray. And if you guys want to try our kelp chili crisp, uh, you don't have to order it online anymore. You can also get it at every world market in the U.S., which is amazing. Amazing deal. It's all thanks to you guys. So go get it available now at World Market. Cost Plus World Market. And soon, maybe in Whole Foods. If you got a Whole Foods connection, hit me up. Let me know. We want to get in there. We gotta get in Whole Foods. Maybe we might get it into Sprouts. We're gonna try to, alright, we're gonna have an Amazon release soon as well. We're going big with the Amazon that'll open up uh, Canada as well, so Canadians will be able to order. Uh, currently, all the in store is all in the US, but soon we'll get there. We'll get there one step at a time, right? Now to cook our golden chanterelles. I'm gonna put them whole, just like this. Boom, capside down, upside down. I think a little bit later we're gonna have dessert with chanterelles. I'm gonna try to make something cool. So make sure to stay tuned after dinner because we're gonna keep this episode going even longer and uh, we're gonna make something cool with it. We're gonna try. We're gonna do an experiment. We have been indulging on chanterelles. <laughs> oh, look at this dripping. Okay, get a chili crisp. Once the oil hits, it gets the fire gets, Where I go. yeah, gets going. <laughs> but that char from the chili crisp oil, the chili oil, it just like it gives it another so much more flavor too. Smoky deliciousness. Got that oil in there. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, we got some potato salad down. Take some asparagus, coho collar, and these beautifully grilled chanterelles. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll finish it with a little bit of the oil. All right, first of all, cheers on an amazing day. Yeah. <laughs> was it a good one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a good one. It was a good one. Thanks for the food. Okay, enjoy. Let's eat. So we have the grilled coho salmon collar and grilled chanterelles with a bit of soy sauce and our kelp chili crisp. And we grilled up some asparagus and the potato 
salad as well. And there's some extra bellies right here too. <laughs> so I didn't uh, that didn't fit on the plate. <laughs> I'm gonna go in immediately with this collar. Okay, so good day fishing. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crazy day fishing. The skin's really crispy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Perfect crisp. And in the chanterelles. Mm. The added smokiness from the charcoal. Mm. And yeah. with the chili crisp, it's so good. These are huge and, collars. It's mm -hmm. been some big fish. It was talking yeah. to big boy. Basically, Sancho just... chili crisp and soy sauce. Yeah. Kinda. It's the new way we're going to be cooking chanterelles, I think. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's time. the best way. What a success. <laughs> what a success. Salad with the mint. So good. Mm. Mm. It's a lot of herbs in there. Mm -hmm. Mint, basil, uh, cilantro, green onions, yeah, cucumber, corn, anything I have in the fridge, just chop it up, throw it in. Nothing else matters except for the chanterelles. <laughs> I hate to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the chanterelles. <laughs> incredible. This is the new way to do coho collars too. Hit Bonnie. them on the grill like the day you catch them. It's because, mm. yeah. I mean, really, if you if you caught a big coho like this one. It's like the perfect meal for two right there. Mm -hmm. You get a collar mm -hmm. and a belly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was just a playground out there. Mm -hmm. At one point, we lost three fish in a <laughs> row. At, like, at the net. <laughs> and well, we weren't even stressed. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, oh, it's okay. This is going to be another one. <laughs> like, at least one of those, the line broke. Like, oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right. We just finished dinner. Beach, it's so full. In yeah, all the right yeah. ways. Look at this. We got Leah's brining some salmon. Yeah, we're gonna smoke Ooh, it up tomorrow. Smoke. Okay, the dessert I'm going to make is uh, chanterelle daifuku. That's what it's called. Daifuku is uh, usually uh, strawberry wrapped in mochi. And instead of strawberry, we're putting candied chanterelle in there. Okay, we got chanterelles. I'm just gonna. Uh, tear it apart. This is maple syrup as well. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try one of these. This is all the new seedings. Oh, wow. It's good. No. Should I do a pinch of salt with this kind of stuff? Oh yeah. Okay, so this right here, if you ever see this at a Japanese market, this is mochi. It's just a block, but it's, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's mochi. You can either microwave it, you could grill it, you can bake it, whatever. Just heat it up and you can eat it. You have instant mochi, basically. So, we got them right here. They're just like hard blocks. And I'm gonna put it on a piece of parchment paper. And I'll make a little package out of them. And then, you know, just toss it in the microwave for 30 seconds. We got some spruce, spruce tip jelly from Bonica Foods. And usually it's um, red bean paste. But we're gonna put this jam because we don't have red bean paste. And put the chanterelles in there. Just a little, little bit like that. Up. We have a little bit of kinako, which is normally eaten with mochi. It's just a little powder. Uh, it's really tasty. Now that I have this little oblong ball, <laughs> I'm gonna toss it in this kinako here. Okay. Dang, look how nice mine is. <laughs> yeah, it did come out. With, Johnson tried with dry hands. <laughs> And actually, it works a lot better with dry hands. Didn't stick. Mine are all blobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The spruce tip jam. It's like a flavor, a forest flavor adventure. Spruce tip, chanterelle yeah. combo. <laughs> yeah, that mochi is so nice and chewy. <laughs> and the, Mm. Sweet, tender mushroom. Yeah. Just... Yeah. There you go. A little mochi, chanterelle mochi dessert. <laughs> Who's up?
Really tasty. All right, you guys can give that a try too. But anyways, thank you all for watching another episode. Uh, we've just been here for a few days and it's been amazing so far. A uh, big shout out to Barnacle Foods for hosting me, for hosting us um, for these two weeks uh, here in Juneau. And we're gonna be doing some more epic, 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 epic adventures. So um, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. See you on the next. Peace.